guys it's crystal welcome back i'm here today with another vintage home decor haul and this is from thursday i went to my local goodwill and right an hour right an hour before they were closing and i found some goodies so let's go ahead and get started so first i found these brass um light switch covers they're vintage there's four of them they're all the same. And these are from 1974. From 1974, they're all brass. And I got these, I think it was $2 for the pack. So yeah, $2. Um, these, I'm not a sh I don't think I'm gonna be putting them in my home. I think I'm going to be putting those up in my shop. Um, and then I found these really cool eclectic um, kind of shelves. And um, these were for like four dollars. So yeah, I thought these are, this red color is um, really bright and I think it'll go in some groovy, funky um, decor. This is also going in my shop. Um, it just doesn't go with my the colors I'm currently using. And then I found this little wood. Um, can you see it? There you go. It's this wood little um, wall frame, and it's of a little. She almost looks like strawberry shortcake talking on the phone and then there's a little kitty so cute oh my gosh it's not picking up okay there you go so cute and this was only a dollar i do think this is gonna go up in my either my room or somewhere here i'm not sure yet um and then this um vintage Gemini Zodiac plaque. This is from 1981. It's made in the USA. Okay, so it has the um, birth dates, um, Zodiac birth dates engraved there. And then, okay, so over here it says 1970. Oh, okay. So, it's from 1970, but somebody gifted it in 1981. Yeah, somebody gifted it. Okay, so yeah, it's made in the USA by Modern Art Co. 1970. And it's this Gemini plaque. And this, my sister found. And it's funny, she's a Gemini, but where she found this, I had went through that section. And I had picked it up, but I just had looked at this upper part like I had not seen this lower part and I was like whatever <laughs> and I threw it to the side and then she after a while she comes walking by and she's like hey you missed this and I was like oh and no I didn't I picked it up but I didn't even realize what it was that is gonna go on one of our shops too and then next I found this wooden I'm not sure what it is it's this it almost looks like a wooden iron, but with a vintage, um, a vintage iron with a vintage um, clothing pin. And this is handmade. He's so cute. Look at him. And it's signed. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. I don't know where I left off, so. I'm just gonna go back to this one. Um, yeah, so this is a real cool piece my sister found that I had missed. Um, it does have a small, very small minor imperfections, but because of the age, it's it's okay. It's um, this was oh, so this actually was from a thrift store that was right next to the good one. 
Um, and this was, I believe, $2.99. And then, I think I forgot to tell you guys how much this one was. This one I found for a dollar. Okay, so this little guy, yeah. So he's just like a decor piece. He sits on something. He sits forever. And um, yeah, he's done by Marsha. It doesn't have a year, but obviously this is vintage. Um, and I, this one was three dollars. Three dollars. This one is probably gonna go on the shop. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. We'll see. And then I found this beautiful stained glass purple butterfly. And my sister found this section for me. I love purple. And this will probably be going on the shop as well. Um, I have a lot of stained glass already. And then I found this Jam uh, Made in Japan frame. Um, they marked that at $1. I don't think they realize it's made in Japan. But that's a really cool frame. It's like a glass, no, it's a ceramic, ceramic frame. And this is likely going on the shop as well. These are actually from another day and from another thrift store, but I did want to show them because they are insane. All right, they are, I don't know if I can hold them all up, but they are these candle holders, vintage candle holders, and they were literally all intact. Well, not all of them, one of them had out some imperfections but most of them were intact and right before shooting the video I was taking their prices off I'm not sure if I had it, so. and the sticker peeled off some of the coating oh yeah see and this one too, it happened to this one too. These weren't affected. This one's not, but these were. And these are from Sirocco, made in the USA also. So true vintage pieces, they all have their little, um, uh, I forget what it's called, so you can hang them. Um, so yeah, overall these are in very good condition. They were, uh, I think they were 99 cents each, I think. So yeah, these are going on my shop as well. They don't fit my home decor at the moment anywhere. So I will be putting this up on the shop. And I think that's it from that haul that's it so if you guys are interested in any of those um items i'm gonna go ahead and probably insert my email or um, a way for you to contact me i hope you guys enjoyed um i personally would love to keep all these I come up, I mean, I um, find so much treasure all the time, and so that's why I love um, being able to keep some stuff for me, but also being able to ship things out to people that also love these things and don't, um, they don't have the access either because they cannot drive, because they cannot, um, they simply don't like going into these places. Um, whatever the reason is, I can um, facilitate that for them. So yeah, if you guys um, are interested, um, like I said, just shoot me an email. All right, bye.